Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Friday. Okay guys, so we're back to talk about Vanderpump Rules, the premiere and Lisa Vanderpump because she had a few things to say, especially when it came to Rachel. I keep on wanting to call her Raquel and it was so funny because at the premiere there are a few people who absolutely refuse to call her Raquel or Rachel because they're like, no, I just know her as Raquel. Anyways, Lisa Vanderpump had some things to say, especially about the Bethany Frankel interview. And I have been waiting to hear from Lisa Vanderpump on this. And of course, we knew going into the premiere, especially after Scandaball, that there was going to be there were going to be so many questions about Raquel, Rachel. Why am I saying it like that? I don't know. But we're gonna jump in. Before we do, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And also, I'm giving away a free blooming. $150 value. Um, stick around to the end so you can figure out how to enter to win. Let's go. Okay. So the moment that I've been waiting for, Miss Lisa Vanderpump. I saw her and she, um, I always love seeing Lisa. So according to Reality Blurb, Lisa Vanderpump is firing back at Rachel, formerly known as Raquel Levis, and her suggestion that she attempted to use her former dog, Graham, to lure her back to Vanderpump Rules and set her up for an on-camera surprise reveal of the dog being given back to her former fiance. That would be James Kennedy. Yeah. Whom she obviously previously shared the pet with. Yeah. So while attending the Vanderpump Rules season 11 premiere party on Wednesday, Lisa gave a nod to Raquel's despicable betrayal of Ariana Maddox, who's now ex-boyfriend, Tom. Well, we know what Scannaball was. Um, she called out Raquel for failing to have her facts straight, and she reacted to her tell-all podcast interview with Bethany Frankel. You guys remember that? She said, well, she also said that she's Ariana Maddox's best friend. That's how I respond to that. Mm. Okay, the shade. Lisa told Us Weekly on January uh, 17th, after being asked about using Graham for a storyline, she said, I do think if she's going to call something out, she should know the story. I take my dog foundation, the Vanderpump Dog Foundation, and rescuing dogs very seriously. The dog was brought to my attention, so I would not use that dog. It was delivered to Vanderpump Dogs, but you're going to see the way it transpires when the show airs. Now, after Raquel entered a mental health facility in March of 2023, she surrendered Graham to trainers at the California Doodle Rescue due to his aggressive behavior, which she has since blamed on James. A while later, the dog wound up at Vanderpump Dogs and was ultimately reunited with James, who has given him a new name, Hippie. Although Graham seems to be doing well with James and also Allie, who's his girlfriend, who recently confirmed positive progress, Raquel said on her podcast earlier this month that a false story was put out about the animal. Basically, she said the story that they put out there is that Lisa told everyone that I surrendered my dog at a kill shelter and he was hours away from being euthanized. That's what she's alleging on Rachel Goes Rogue. So I'm curious to see if, in fact, that is what we get. But in response, Lisa said she should get all of the facts right before she's making these statements. And I don't think anybody's really trusting what she says. The lion doesn't care what the sheep are doing. <laughs> okay, so during a separate interview at the same event, Lisa admitted that she wasn't happy about Raquel's August 2023 interview with Bethany. She said, I wish she'd actually just come to me instead of sitting in the safety of somebody else's podcast. Had she come to me, I think I would have been good to her because it's one thing, you know, just saying this out there, just saying that out there and some of it wasn't true. Like I was paying her like an intern. I know exactly how much money she made. It was six figures. It was good. So while Rachel told Bethany that she hadn't seen a penny from Scandaball, Lisa said she made more than $350,000 for season 10. She also said she wished that Raquel had come back and actually spoken her truth instead of doing the podcast, which we've heard so many times from various cast members. Nobody really understood. I think that she was just afraid. I think that she thought that the, the rest of the cast, obviously she felt like they weren't going to welcome her back. But what I don't understand is Sure, her podcast will she'll make money, yes. But like if she made 350 for season 10, she easily would have been right up there in the 400, potentially maybe even 500 range for season 11. She would have made a lot of money and she would have had to have gone in front of everybody. She would have been called every name in the book. Sure, mental health, I get it. If it's your mental health and you're not doing it because of that, then 
I would think that you just wouldn't do it altogether. I wouldn't think that you would go on Bethany Frankel's podcast and then also start another podcast that is solely talking about Scandaball. It's like, that can't be good for the mental health. So if you're just going to have your mental health suffer anyways by putting yourself in these situations, then why not make the money doing it? That's my question. I just don't understand. Like, you're still talking about it, but I think that she wanted to be able to control the narrative. I think that, and that's her prerogative, but I think that she wanted to put stuff out there and be able to control what it sounded like, what it looked like. And she wanted to be able to share her truth and not have an edited version of it. And that's probably why she foregoed the back. But wait, 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 we're not done. So she also said that, again, she wished that she would have came back. She said, she knows I'm not going to be judgmental. I'm going to listen and give her a moment. All the people that are so involved in the story simply wanted to see growth and contrition. According to Lisa, she was interested in hearing how Raquel felt after she went away for a few months. And I think it would have behooved her to come back. I really do. But maybe not the whole season because I think that they were, you know, pretty kind of, well, resistant towards that. Lisa then stated that a return may have been too much for Raquel. And she understands that too. Also, there's somebody else who was um, speaking out about Raquel. And I'm going to share a clip with you guys. Hold on. All right. So thank you to Buy Wig Hello Drama. But it looks like, let me just pause this really quick. Tom Sandoval has not listened to Rachel's podcast, but has this message for her. Listen to Rachel's podcast? I have not. Okay. Yeah. If you had a message for her, do you have a message for Rachel? I just want her to like be happy and, you know, just be happy. Thank Wish you. Thank the best you. Okay. A lot of people, by the way, were freaking out over the fact that he went lightning bolts galore. Like, not only his earring, but his big ass lightning bolt necklace. Um, if he was trying to send a statement, well, he definitely pulled it off. But there was another thing that I wanted to talk about because Katie Maloney was getting questioned a lot at the premiere. Her and Ariana have been questioned so many times over this at this point. And I know that you guys already know what I'm going to talk about. Something about her. Everybody wants to know what's going on. What's the deal? When is it opening? Is it ever going to open? People have questions to which they want answers. I get it. Well, she gave the frustrating reasons that it hasn't opened. She said, right now, I'm just trusting that timing is the reason for this not opening, but it was supposed to open, I believe, in January. Um, they made a big announcement. And then I think it was supposed to open at, I believe, in July or August. But she hinted that there was some behind-the-counter drama. She said, we've been making some changes as needed. We're very excited. Apparently, something about her isn't just a sandwich shop. It'll also probably be a season 11 storyline. And she is acknowledging the people who are skeptical about it even opening, saying, I appreciate everyone asking questions and wanting to know when we're going to open. And I want to keep up that energy, obviously, but it can be frustrating at times. I'm just trusting that the timing is what it is for a reason. And Ariana also added to this saying, we are chomping at the bit to get open, just waiting for all of the agencies to sign off. When asked if 2024 will be the grand opening year, Katie exclaimed, I freaking hope so. So even though something about her has set Katie and Ariana back about a million dollars so far, they've already raked in about half a million from the merch sales in the wake of Scandaball. So, I mean, they're doing pretty okay, I would say, at the least. But guys, I want to hear what your thoughts are. Again, I told you that I'm giving away a blue mean. So all you guys have to do is go anywhere you get your podcast. We Right now, we're trying to get to 1,000 ratings. We have 823. We got 150 in one week. But go anywhere you get your podcast, drop a five-star rating, and let us know what you think about Lisa clapping back at Rachel. Do you believe Lisa or do you believe Rachel? I have questions, and I want answers. Love you guys. See you next time.